talking to No Eagle, who called the basketball on NBC, both the men and the women, obviously, the gold medal matches. And we saw right there the gold medal games, the, the image, the lasting image that we're going to see for years now of Steph and LeBron uh, going night-night. What did it mean there, do you think, for these two to do this together after everything from the NBA in years past? So what I loved about this team was that it spanned three distinct eras and generations of NBA superstardom. You had the old and, and the big dogs, as Anthony Edwards called them, with Steph, LeBron, and Kevin Durant. Those are Ra Mount Rushmore level players right there that are going to be all-time names, all-time figures in the world of basketball. Then you had that middle generation, the Anthony Davis, Joel Embiid, Drew Holiday, Derek White even now as a part of that. And then you had this newer wave, Anthony Edwards, Tyrese Halliburton, Bam Adebayo, Jason Tatum, Devin Booker. Uh, you have this very distinct three levels, three eras. But at the end of it, it was the three oldest. It was the three oldest, by the way, to ever win gold for the United States men's basketball team. They all three, Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, LeBron James, were older than Larry Bird when he won it with the 92 Dream Team. And there was something special about that. And especially to your point, Steph and LeBron, who Kevin Durant was clearly a part of this era and a part of the championships won in Golden State and a part of the story of the NBA. But those two were the faces. Those two were battling it out year after year. They were the headliners. They were the lead singers. And so for them to be together, because we'd seen them in All-Star and, and on pickup teams, or whatever, for them to truly fight for something that meant as much as an Olympic gold medal and something that it meant as much as keeping the, the five straight Olympic golds and everything else, the legacy that this builds and this moment creates was so special. And to see them enjoying it and that level of mutual respect that we knew was there, but was really brought to the surface with them being on the court together. I mean, how often did you see LeBron James say, I'm going to defer? Because look, you can say all the time, Late clock, fourth quarter, one-point game, tie game, need a bucket. LeBron always has it in his hand and then makes the right play, so he might give it up, but it's in his hand. Kevin Durant, it's always in his hand. So how many times have you seen those two guys defer to somebody else and that dude deliver in the way that he did. It was it was so awesome. Yeah, and there's the obviously the the image that they will perhaps hang in the Louvre one day. And by the way, the, the Louvre, I don't know if anybody was following it. The actual Louvre Twitter feed was having fun um, all throughout the Olympics when people would say hang it in the Louvre. They, they would actually answer. <laughs> um, and so that was fun on Twitter. And it goes all the way back to, to even the intrigue in game number one. Is Kevin Durant going to be available? He comes off the bench late in the first quarter and starts raining threes. And then obviously he had his moments throughout the entire thing as well. Noah, do you believe LeBron when he says that at 43 he won't play in L.A. 28? Because honestly, I don't. I, I, I would say my gut is with you that – Knowing him and knowing what he understands about making history and how he enjoys this aspect of longevity and, and the fact that nobody's really done this at this level, there's a part of me that says he'll play. But at the same time, the work that is required, and I got to do these games with Dwayne Wade, who obviously intimately knows LeBron, and Dwayne said that he's the hardest worker he's ever been around, and that has continued to now 39 years old. So the amount of work that's required – literally on a daily basis, the amount of workouts that are required on a daily basis to play at the level that he plays is insane. And so to require that from a 43-year-old would be a lot. And knowing LeBron, he's only going to do it if he feels he's going to play at a high enough level to be on the team. So it's an interesting question. It's an interesting topic. I'm not sure the correct answer is yes or no at this point because I think LeBron also does kind of go day by day with it and how he feels in the moment. But as a result of that, him declaring it right now doesn't feel like it's accurate either because I think he'll get closer. Yeah. And if he feels good enough, he'll say, you know what? Let's do it. One more ride. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.